girl I'm on these teeth that Boy, Trey, forever, baby. Man, it's your boy, artist. Girl, Tasia, name. Girl, name is Tom. Boop, one half the back of your business podcast. Aaron, the Gap 2 Diva. Are you Milan? Here, Milan. It's your girl, Flamey G. But it's Auntie Pig. Boy, Lou. Ebony, a.k.a. Ebony with an I. I'm from the Big Head Radio Show, and I'm with the King Teeth Network, huh? We are back, motherfuckers. We are back. We ain't going nowhere. We always going to be here because we got these most amazing motherfuckers. So we got to keep interviewing them. We got to keep sitting down. We got to keep growing this thing out. Shout out Team 100. We on the east side this time. We be on the west side. But shout out to you, man. You doing your thing. Appreciate you and everything you've been doing and bringing this in on. Now to the motherfucker who we got in the building today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Boney. Yeah, what's up? What's up with it? What's good? What's good? Too cool. <laughs> hey, dude, you got the mic in the nah, yeah, cool. Nah, you know what's up, man. We got it. It's a vibe, man. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Good energy, good vibe. I'm loving it, man. All the time, Definitely. Man. We got man. these new chairs. I yeah, mean, we, it's we, we might be staying yeah, in it up. Yeah, I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm doing good. I'm wonderful. We got this beat expo going too by T100. Lit. I'm excited. I went to the first one. It was lit. We definitely excited about it. But that's mainly what I got going at the end. Got my friend KB the artist show I'm going to later, and that's it. Promote the brand, promote the business, get my money. You feel? That's it. <laughs> so who is Big Bone? For the people who don't know, man, Big Bone is a person that'll do anything to. To, to to reach the top, man. Anything, man, you know, anything. A person that's willing to give his all to make it. You yeah. Know, you know, day and night, every day, all day, no sleep, man. No sleep. Nah, at all, man. That's Big Boney right there. If you looking for a person that's going to get it, I'm. that's me, man. You feel me? By any means necessary. By any means, By any necessary. means necessary. We respect the fuck out of that over here yeah. at the King Team Network. Because you yeah. got to get it regardless of what you're going through, what's happening in life. Shit's got to get motherfucking done. Yeah, so man. you said before we got started that you've been an engineer and a producer. You've been a producer first yeah, for six years. Yeah. And you've been an engineer for five. Yeah, so how'd you get into producing? Producing? I actually started off... Um, on East 13th, man, downtown, man. We used to call it the Baby Mama Bill. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, <laughs> my boy, yeah, um, that, yeah, the Baby, baby Mama Building, man. It was crazy though, but it was a good experience for me. <laughs> it was my first little spot and everything. But um, my brother lived there, and he took me down to um, a studio, man. It was called Holla Studios at the time. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Shout out Holla Studios and my boys. Uh, but he took me in there and it just changed my mode, you feel me? At first I didn't know I, I wasn't a rapper. Right. So, but you feel me? So I just draw to making beats, you feel me? I went engineer, I went trying to get into technical stuff with with artists and stuff. I was still shy, you feel me? Yeah. So I had to break out of that. But he took me in there, man. I started, I, st I just loved it when I walked in, you feel me? I just loved it, bruh. You feel me? Went in there, we started, um... My friend Marlo started um, making beats and, um, what was it, rapping, mm. he a singer, you feel me? So, boom, I just draw to it, you feel me? Next thing you know, two weeks later, I was trying to learn how to make a beat on a system, you feel me? Tried doing that, my friend liked the computer on me, you feel me? <laughs> he said, this one nothing to play with, so I'm like, all right. So, about a couple of weeks later, my I went and bought me a laptop. Then my girl went and bought me um, my speakers and my um, interface and stuff I needed to wow. make the songs. Wow. Yeah, definitely. That's some real shit yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, bro. She played a big part in my success, though. For real, definitely, though. Real big part. How bro. important is that? Very, though. If you got to, like, me growing up, like, when I started this, man, I ain't really had, like, you know, like, what people be saying, like, it's real, like. They not gonna see the drive until they see it going. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like mm -hmm. they ain't gonna see it. They gonna start catching on once they once they see it. You feel me? But she was a big part with supporting me. You feel me? Like when I ain't had nobody to talk to, nobody wanna buy my beach. You feel me? None of that. You feel me? She always just told me like it's gonna be alright. You gonna get better. You gonna get this. It's yeah. gonna be cool. It's gonna be alright. And at the time we was young, bro. We was young. You feel me? But we was just trying to make it what it do. But. She supported me though, definitely. Start buying me shit, 
big ass speakers, like I'm talking about what? big speakers, like Rocket Eights, man, new computers, man, all that. You spoiling me on it, you feel me? If I need it, it she go get it. There was times I wasn't working, I was in the spot. Yeah. Just thugging it, you feel me? But it was hood though, man. But she a real good support system, you feel me? Like with us having kids and stuff, like it's it's hard, but at the end of the day. If you make it work, it can work. Yeah. You, you, you make time for what you want to make time for. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, but, see, the importance it, of that is, like, to have a good support system. Like, people not going to support you when you first coming out of the gate. You feel me? But as long as you got one person supporting you, you feel me, you fine, give you the urge to go on. You mm-hmm. feel me? But he played a real good part in my success, though. Man, that's what's up. And that's big time because a lot of people don't understand or even see how much the person next to him do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely, man. Or play a role in the success or the failure. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's that's really good that you found that person so early. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So at what point did you know that you could do this full time? Uh, Pandemic. Really? Pandemic, that man. pandemic was pandemic, a game bro. changer for everybody. Pandemic, Real shit. Man. I see, I see, I see a lot. I think a lot of black businesses was growing over pandemic. Mm-hmm. You know that unemployment money, man. I just wasn't doing that, but using it, I lost my job, man. Yeah. Like, I wasn't working. I was working at a casino, man. A dishwasher. Man, I lost my job, bro. Like it just showed, like bro, they can just cut you off right then and there. You feel me, like. We, you feel me, we bound to get through anything. We just got to keep going, but that's what, and then I just, after that, I ain't go back. You mm-hmm. feel me? I ain't go back at all because I seen that I can sustain it. You feel me? And at the time, shoot, it was, it was bad where I was living in the stool. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, I was making pallets, buying air mattresses, wow. sleeping in the stool. I, it was getting to the point, man, when I, when I had lost my job, man, I had started engineering hard. Man, my, um, uh, I was posting on the ground consistently. I had 10, 15 people calling me like, bruh, all I see you on my TL, bruh, I need to get in there, bruh. Yeah. You feel me? So that's why I say consistency is the key. If you can say consistent with anything you do, you win, man. So in the dark time, yeah. you started to find your purpose. Yeah, 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 definitely. That's some real shit. Yeah, I've been wanting to do it, though. Yeah, yeah but, but I that, was, that, yeah. Was, that made, it, it that made you yeah, do it. Yeah, it was like, okay, so you not, you feel me, God? Uh-huh. Like, you not gonna do it on your own? Uh-huh. I'm gonna cut you off here and then, right. you feel me? Like, right. the ones that were supposed to do it stand strong, you feel me? Like, I stood strong, you feel me? And stayed on my toes, promotion, all that. You feel me, the crown, all that. You just gotta stay consistent at it. That's it, man. I, you just got to learn it and just stay consistent at it. But as long as I was posting and staying consistent and talking to people and people DMs, mm-hmm. I was surviving. You mm-hmm. feel me? I was, it was, yeah. I was scared. I was scared like I was going to fall, bro. Though. I was surviving, bro. Like, I was That's surviving, That's a real bro. word right there. For real, man. Like, I was surviving. It was it was hard at first, bro. Like, I was, I was doing 16, 17 hours straight just to keep clients in the door. You feel me? But it was like, shoot, I had the unemployment money to pay the rent for uh-huh. the school. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, and how I got the suit, my friend invested in me. You feel wow. me? Like, we was, like, probably prior two weeks of pandemic cutting us off our job. Mm-hmm. She just said, I had saw a studio. I'm going to get my hair cut. Walking down there. You feel me? Looked up, and the suit was right there. I called him. He told me what he wanted for it. Boy, she was like, boom, we cramming for these two weeks. You feel me? We going hard. We about to get it. You feel me? So we went hard for them two weeks. We got the we got the studio probably like the next week afterwards. Wow. You feel me? And then, boom, probably another week afterward, pandemic was over with. She came in. She told me like, yeah, bro, this you. And left, bro. This you? Yeah, she said, this you, bro. You want to follow your dream? This you. You feel me? So it's just the doors started yeah, opening. Open it, boom. You started putting the work. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. people don't be understanding. Yeah. They be thinking they work after the, the no, opportunities come. No. Like, oh, once I get this, I'm yeah. gonna turn this yeah, shit up. Yeah. No, you gotta really yeah. turn it up yourself. Right. So when people start to see it, you already ready. Yeah. So when you locked into that studio, what happened? It just it just took my 
my craft and my mindset to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just like, bro, I started learning things that I would never learn, bro. Like, I used to record on Adobe. Like, I recorded on Pro Tools and all, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. That's what I started recording. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. getting into there, you feel me? Like, I done had artists that come in there and be like, man, you ain't got Pro Tools. And it make me feel some type of way and just make me push myself, you mm -hmm. feel me? Like, I ask my girl all the time, you think I can do it? She like, you can do anything you can put your mind to, you feel me? Like, real shit. So, Ooh. I just continue doing and that. Boy, ladies. Yeah, hey, don't let Definitely. that shit that he talking go over your head, ladies. Wait, that man. support a man needs when he is grinding Definitely. on a dream is honest and to God yeah. real. It's, it's real when it's there and when, and when it's not there. Yeah. So, understand the difference and understand that it's okay to support somebody, even if you have dreams yourself, support them as hard as you can. Yeah. That don't take away from your dreams. Yeah. I'll take away from what you want to do. Just because he's in his time right now doesn't mean your time isn't coming, or is it may not be the same time. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So it just sure. gotta, it gotta, yeah. but you gotta, you gotta be willing to sacrifice. Yeah, you gotta be willing to put that pride to mm -hmm. the side and really be able to grow. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Together. Yeah. And be proud of each other. Yeah, definitely. And I love that you keep speaking on that yeah. because that shit is so real and it's not fake. Fake. It's not no, because she's here. Yeah. It's like you speaking and then she just come up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's part of the story. Yeah. She played a big part, man. You feel me? And like, even like now, like I done opened up three studios, so like. I got extra room to where I can, she doing nails, so I'm able now to bless her. You there feel? you go, that's so it crazy. Ain't, it ain't nothing but a train, like a domino effect. Once you win it, people around you gonna start winning. People around you gonna start winning. That's important, you feel me? Like How important, and we spoke on this prior, how important is relationships to being a producer? Very, they very important. Like, you just wanna, like, when I DM somebody, like, I don't be like, what's up or like you feel me i say hey bro i like your music you feel me like if you a rapper you a, like i check you out you feel me relationships are important I, you just don't ask for something right away you feel me like right you talk to somebody you engage with them you feel me relationships you feel me like i had like one of my beats being played in rick ross studio you feel me wow. like the video you feel me all that you feel me? Just off of me jumping in somebody DM and said, bro, I like your beats. You feel me? Like, yeah. And he was just like, hey, bro, let me see some of your beats. Boom, boom, boom. This and the third. So relationship is important. Like, I'll take that over money any day. Any you day. Me? Any day. Any like, day. Relationship is very important. You feel me? You talking to this person. You talking to this person. Oh, I know him. You feel me? Like, right. It's it, it giving good vibes, not burning people, being honest. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's real. You feel me? Like, it have been people like, down and out, hey bro, I need this hum, bro. You yep. And it ain't even all about always giving. It's always to be like, oh, you need a ride, shit, I got you. You feel mm -hmm. Cause you never know, that man can be this, this the next day, and no, like, and you would be nothing after you just, you feel me? So it it's just nothing. like, yeah. Just like he gave it to you, you can take it away. You feel yeah. me? You gotta stay consistent with being kind to people, bro. Like, just not being an asshole, man. You feel me? Like, that's a big part. That shit just takes you so me? much further. Yeah, dude. Just man. not being an asshole. Yeah, listening, man. Just being a, a comfort person to a, another person. You feel me? Somebody may need somebody to talk to. You feel me? That's it. They don't want nothing from you. They just want to talk to you. You feel me? You just, relationships is very important. As a producer, man, being in the studio, talking to people, getting to know people, you can work around every a person, a whole camp before you get to the, the boss. You feel mm -hmm. me? But you done build relationships with everybody, so now you feel Throughout comfortable. The camp. You feel yeah. Me? You feel comfortable. You don't have no problem going to the boss because you know all these people around you are vouch for you. Yeah. You're a good dude. You yeah. feel me? Like, real relationships is very important in the music game, man. That's that's more important than money, man. I swear. I love money. Don't get me wrong, man. Money makes the world. You feel me? We need it. You feel me? We need it, man. As much as people say we don't, we need it. You feel me? But we, sometimes you got to choose the friendship over the bread. You feel me? Sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Now, engineering came in a little later, but it still is a pivotal thing that you do. Yeah. How is it being in the studio with an artist as an engineer? As an in oh amazing like if he come in ready you mm -hmm. feel me like for instance like uh I record my dog like sometimes shout I out to my dog you know that 
That shit still going yeah, up too yeah, to yeah, this yeah. day. Shout yeah. out to that nigga. Yeah, that's my nigga, man. I recorded my daughter. You're a good ass nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he, a a cool good ass. he just wants niggas cool to win. Yeah, I fuck with shit that's like that. That's it. And he always used to tell me, like, man, I fuck with the underdogs, man. Fuck the niggas that's up, man. Fact. I need all the underdogs, bro. But, like, being in the studio, like, if you ready to go, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. if you come in ready to go, like, I'm that engineer that's going to push you, you feel yeah. me, to the highest, you feel me? Like, I'm going to give you the sauce. I'm going to talk to you, you feel me? I'm going to tell you, like, hey, bro, I don't like that. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm word to everybody out there. If you come ever record with me, I'll be 100% honest. Like, I ain't one of them engineers that be pressing buttons and sing you about your day. Like, bro, I don't like that, bro. I'm not talking about it. I don't like that bar, bro. Change that. Change that bar, bro. That bar is not it, bro. You feel me? Like, you got some people that won't like it, but it's me, though. Like, you yeah, shouldn't come to my studio right. if you don't want honesty. You right. feel me? Because that's, that's me. That's what you're feel booking. Me? Yeah, you booking a person that's going to give you your real money's worth. You yeah, feel you know. me? Like, that's I'm selling a service, but I'm selling a good service. Yeah. You feel me? That like, I care about. Yeah, you feel me? So like, don't just come in here playing with me. Yeah. So you, have you ever had to, like, really set an artist straight coming into the studio, kind of just playing around? No, I'm not really. That's not really, because they already know. Like, most of the people that I mess with, they usually, like, bless me. And, like, mm-hmm. somebody tell them about me. Like, mm-hmm. hey, bro, go, go see my dude, bro. He hard. They, you feel me? Like, most of the people are bless me. And, you feel yeah. me? So that's how I usually go when I get people. I get a lot of people on Instagram, people on Google and stuff like that. But, like, my main people be, like, bless me. I go to shows, you feel me? Like, and it's not hard to miss me at shows because mm-hmm. I'm walking around with a billboard on my back, you right, feel me, like real right, right. shit, like, that shame my business, grind my studios, you feel me, like, so, if you ever get in the studio with me, man, I'm an honest dude, like, I'm honest, I don't play no games, I feel like you spending your money, right, you play no games, you right. feel me, like, you that Gucci shoes you spent eight, nine hundred dollars on, you gonna wear them, man, you ain't gonna wanna get them scuffed, you right. feel me, you ain't gonna play with them, so I feel like people shouldn't play with their craft, and I don't play with mine at all. You feel real me? shit. My name on this, you feel me? So it's just as much as important to me as it is to you. You feel me? Real shit. Nah, no, you, you speaking facts with you. So, um, you so you was able to build this up, right? So you started from one studio mm-hmm. and then built it to three, and now you're able to do this full time. Yeah. How does that feel to you? Amazing, cause like, um. That's the goal. With yeah, this shit. You know definitely. What yeah. Like nobody definitely. wants to do this and have to go mm-hmm. work for it. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Then you know you gotta. I gotta hire people, get secretaries, you feel me, stuff I can, so I can have my day, you feel me, it's very, it's very comfortable, I'll be comfortable, but it can get overwhelming sometimes mm-hmm. if you ain't got a team that supports you, you yeah. feel me, like, you gotta get people, like, you gotta get people to support you, you gotta get people, hey, I need you here at this time, like, for real. you feel me, we gotta set up, we gotta show, we, we gotta, gotta do this, bro, you and feel me, like, yeah, like, I need that, like, if you not with that, you feel me, don't like, even come, yeah, don't come, cause, Please. We about work over yeah. here, man. <laughs> we about work, man. We trying to make some of ourselves. You feel me? Like, Do you set that example? Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. I think it, I think if you don't, as the as the CEO, founder, if you don't set the example of what your company is supposed to look like, then you not your company not gonna look like yeah, that. Definitely. You know, Jeff Bezos set in his garage. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And got it in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. he set that example yeah. to go get it in. Yeah, yeah. If you fucking with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So oh, it's yeah. like you gotta set those examples because if they don't see that they yeah, don't do don't. it. They not. They just gonna be like, yeah, oh he lacking. Yeah. He lacking shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be lacking. Yeah. yeah. That's why Family dollars be closing yeah, up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get paid though. Yeah, they is though. That's you you, it's the it's the way the culture. Yeah. So how have you been able to set your culture up and your, you know, you built this world now. Yeah. So how have you been able to set this culture up? Man, I just, I don't know. It just be like, with me, it just be like more touching people. Yeah, like, me you too. You feel me? Like, I, I worry about the music. Don't get me wrong. But like, I be like, I want to be an inspiration on people. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, I want to be a person that. That, that creates the drive to be the person that known for going hard, you mm-hmm. feel me? No matter what I do, you feel me? Yeah. That's the culture I want to bring for me and my legacy. Absolutely. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. Your legacy. Man. Yeah, that's like very important for me. And I just had a baby daughter too. Her name is Annie. So, Shout out to yeah, you. So, How is it? Is that your first 
This is my second. It's your second. So yeah. how is it being a father? It's 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 now that I got more time on my hand. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's easy. Yeah. It's easy. Because now you got a little yeah, money. You yeah, know how you making yeah. your money. Mm -hmm. You got your shit set yeah. up. And now you can actually enjoy being yeah. a... Yeah. That's real shit. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of niggas be struggling yeah. at first. Yeah. And then it be like, damn, I, I don't got time to spend. Yeah. And then when you, when you do got time, nigga, I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired, yeah. <laughs> Please stop yelling. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to hear this yeah, right now. Definitely, man. Like, I put that time in with my son and my daughter, man. Like That's I man. got to, man. You feel me? Like we love son, black fathers. We love fatherhood over here, man. Oh, That's sure. important, and we gonna celebrate it and we gonna emphasize it, man. Definitely. Man. Got to, cause they got act to. like it's not here. It's not, though. Like, but it's here. It's definitely here, man. So how is it? And I ain't even asked this, and I usually start with this. How was it like for you growing up? Uh, like as a youngin? Yeah. I mean, I grew up on the hundred thirty ninth in Kings. So, well, you feel me, son? <laughs> yeah. You know, I was, you know, I was around the mess, like the average kids, shootouts and stuff like that. You feel me? But like, I was in the streets. You, you know? was in shootouts as a kid? No, I know. I was like, like say, they was around, God, you feel me? They was around, you feel me? But like, Shit. my childhood, it wasn't that bad though. Like, I don't know, I done had like stuff, you feel me? Like, I had my mama and my father, you feel me? Uh, my mama and my father lived in the same house. Oh, my, I had, I got what? Celebrate five brothers that. and celebrate, sisters. That you feel me? Sure. Like my, my, I ain't got like an average story like a, like a person got. You feel me? My life was like cool. Like, yeah. I was cool. You feel me? Like I hustled. You feel me? I did a little stuff, but that was on the strength of to help me out or help my mom out. You feel me? My father been in prison. Like you feel me? The average stuff. You know so. I just, it just be about, I try not to dwell on that. I try to yeah. be like more on my legacy. Like, yeah. I don't walk around making an excuse about myself, about my parents, why I ain't oh, this. Right. I got my own mind. I got right. my own brain. And you don't make your own decisions, bro. Like, it, it just came to like, probably like a couple years ago, like, like, I just thought to myself, like, bro, I can do anything I want to, mm -hmm. bro. This is my mind, bro. Mm -hmm. This is my body. Like, I can leave if I want to. Like, anybody out there, like, follow your dreams, you feel me? Like, just create your area, create your comfort zone. That's the main goal, you feel me? Real shit, well, Big Ronnie, I appreciate you, man. I know you a busy man. Yeah. But, um, last thing we do, and you just really did it, but I want you to say it. Again, if you want to say the same thing or say something different, but before we get out of here, it's called Get It Off Your Chest. Uh -huh. And that's just anything you need to say before we see you again. We need you to get that off of here. For sure. Um, I just want to let everybody know, man, like, go hard every day, man. Like, go hard every day, man. All day, all day, all night. Never give up. Just keep going. Even when nobody is supporting you, nobody there, you feel me? You got to think when you go on that ground, you the only person going in there. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Nobody going with you. Mm -hmm. None of that. So I just want everybody to keep pushing, keep grinding for your dreams. Do what any means necessary. And think about your motherfucking self. You feel That's me? That's some real shit. This is you. I know I'm going to be out of here. Peace.